I started using Google Slides for my math workshop. I liked it because of the organization. Um, my kids work through the activities at their own pace in a math workshop. And so I love that the slides are automatically numbered so they know that that's the order they need to be working in. So this is an example. This is one of the sets of activities that my kids do for place value. I'm comparing and ordering numbers. Um, you can find this in my Teacher Pay Teacher store. So every set of slides that the kids do will start with a video lesson. And the video lesson takes the place of me doing my mini lesson in person. So they would click on the video link and it's gonna pull up a video for them to watch. The videos are pretty basic. I just made them using my iPad and a stylus pen. And while they're watching the video, they have an anchor chart to fill out. So you can see here, this is a picture of their chart that they're going to fill out. And then they're going to record their notes on their page as I'm working things out in the video. And once they're done watching the video, they have a reflection to do. So on this one, they're typing a short summary here directly on the slide and then I always have them rate their understanding. So on this one they've got three choices for how they're feeling and they just move the arrow to point to the one that describes them. Um, it gets, I use honestly, I sometimes I look at this for everybody but it really just helps the kids think about their own understanding. So one of my big goals with math workshop is to get the kids to be more self-regulated in their learning so knowing when they need to come ask for help so if they're hit saying they need more help, I want them knowing that that means they need to come talk to me before they move on. So they start with their video, and then I also like to do different colored backgrounds. It helps me be able to see as I'm walking around, what um, just quickly see how far the kids are as they're on their iPads. And then it also helps them be able to talk about it. So on this one, the blue slide is the second one, and these are uh, place value riddles. So they've got to do the riddle and type the answer here in the box. For this one, um, my lower students would use number tiles and a place value chart so they could actually put these numbers in their chart as they're solving it and um, then just type the answer in. The purple one on this one is a partner game using dice. The kids always love to use dice so this one's usually a big hit. And then the orange slide, so these are all orange because these are task cards. So there's 10 task cards and they can just put their answer directly on the slide and then I can just check them on their iPads or on my computer. So this just kind of gives you an idea of how it works. So this one would be if they're using their number tiles in their place value chart, this is going to be more concrete because they're actually, even though it's a riddle, they're just placing the digit in the right place um, using their tools and then this one um, the kids are gonna a lot of them are gonna use their place value chart in their journals or I have like clear pockets that they can put them in and use a whiteboard and they have a partner so they're they're not going totally on their own with um, comparing yet and then the task card, this is more of your abstract practice, so they're going to do this on their own. They could still use their resources, but um, this is getting them a little bit more test prep type practice. So that just kind of gives you an idea of what I mean when I say that I use Google Slides for Math Workshop. So it's self-paced. When they're done with one, they move on to the next one. And they, I have processes in place for as far as knowing who's working with a partner and what to do if you're ready but your partner's not. That's all built into our math workshop routines.